sparrow, yeah. Oh! And welcome back to another one. Today is New Year's Eve. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. And uh, yesterday I called Jordan. I'm like, dude, we need to do a throwback hunt of some sort. Sorry, I got to yell because we're in the Festiva and it's loud. <laughs> it's, it's a can on wheels. <laughs> it is a rattle can for sure. But we're doing Festiva things today. We're going to go to the dairy farm, shoot some pests. But first, uh, Jordan just picked me up from the house and he was like, Bob, there is 20 crows in this field south of your house. He brought his crow e-collar. We're both using two new shotguns, which we're not going to show you until later. You got to oh, stick around. I took mine out. Oh, you, you went back to your Benelli. I did. You're supposed to do this with me. I shoot horrible with that. Okay. I really should have, but... Yeah, I did. So my gun is in my truck. My truck is broke down. It's getting fixed in the shop. Uh, the old Franke girl is, it's in the truck. So I was like, well, for one, it's been clicking. It's been misfiring. Something's wrong with it. Y'all have told me to get a new gun. So I just brought along my, my other girl. So you're going to have to stick around. If you probably know what gun that is. If you don't, just stick around. I'll show it to you. But uh, we're going to walk out here on this tree row. Uh, to start out the video, yep. there's 20 crows in a field. We're going to sure pop out in. of a tree row. We're going to sit down the e-collar. No decoys, no crow decoys. We're just going to flip it on, see if they'll come to us, and we're going to see if we can mark them. Well, so, I should say, I'm pretty sure the collar's in here. Don't tell me I took that hey, out. Hey, we're rolling, we're rolling. Oh, God. There it is. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I thought I seen it back there. Oh, we're good. That's a better one than I got. It's still a cheap one, but... Yeah, it's a way better one than I got though. It's got a lot of sounds. Yeah. So that's the that is the uh, plan today. Oh, here Goose we can pass it. shoot some goose too. Wow. I got steel. <laughs> I, I brought steel too. I brought a little bit of every ammunition that we might need for today. Today is a whatever day. We're gonna spend two three hours this morning. First, obviously kicking off with a with a crow hunt. Then we're gonna go to the dairy see if we can shoot starlings, sparrows, and pigeons. You never know. We might get a uh, lucky goose down. We might get a lucky coyote down. Still got to check his traps here in a little bit. So today is basically like a throwback for 2019. We're going to throw it back, do our classic little pest hunting. You know, we we're debating on goose hunting, doing a two man today. And it's really cold. The ground is extra frozen. We're like, dude, let's just throw it back. Let's just do a New Year's throw it back hunt for y'all y'all have been requesting dairy hunt so and i was talking to the farmer yesterday he said that the starlings will last about three days have moved in oh so they're thick. with it getting cold it they should be a bunch of them there. Ooh, we haven't shot starlings in a long time and uh one thing i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of scared to do it with this gun because on this gun i don't have a full choke y'all know that i'm used to my full choke well we're rolling again it wants to park over there. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know about the Festiva, Jordan starts it with a penny. Um, he's always got spoons, 22 ammo, and pistols sitting up on the dash. Sometimes. Sometimes I put it down the floorboard. <laughs> it's just a Festiva. What is, what's this? Look, spent shells down there. What's in this little cubby hole here? All kinds of goodies. Uh, 17, 410, 12, you know, <laughs> just in case yeah, something in case. happens. <laughs> Sorry for the long intro. Uh, we're just gonna have fun today, guys. All right, this is the strategy. Right beyond this tree row in that field right there, there's 20 to 30 crows. We're gonna try to sneak through the tree row, sit the collar out, hide in the trees, turn it on, and hopefully they come. All right, all right, all right, I guess I won't wait. Here she is, here's the old unit, the old Rite herself. Y'all have been requesting her, and here she is. The old Bottomlands Camo 12 gauge. She's brand new, she shouldn't be clicking, she shouldn't be misfiring, I think I've only hunted with it twice. So, y'all have been requesting that I use the old girl, I have it in a while. One of the main reasons why I have it is just I'm not used to this gun like I am the Franke. You know what I mean? Let's send it on some crows. Well, here we are, guys. We are on the back side of the tree row. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know. I think uh, what's going to happen is we're going to click on the e-collar. The crows are going to hear it, and they're all just going to come at one time. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. What's your call? 
We're gonna kill four crows. You think we're gonna kill four? We're gonna kill four. Well, if you can shoot anyway. Yeah, this, yeah, exactly. I, uh, I've been shooting a full choke for a long time and I'm used to it, so. They're in these trees, dude. We gotta get in the tree row. Oh my goodness. They just, look at this. Um, what do we do? I don't know. They're, they're gonna see us if we move at all. Dude, let's just blast them out of that tree. Um, it can't be worse than anything else. They all landed in this tree, dude. So I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I didn't see that coming at all. Uh, maybe they're curious of what, what we are back here. Uh, or that could be the tree they're roosting in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at him, he's so close. Oh, we could definitely shoot him right here, dude. That would not be difficult at all. Uh, dude, they're in that tree. Let's just... Look at them, there's still more coming. Oh. Too. We're in crow they're, heaven right now. They're dude. passing on the outside of those trees. What do you want to do? <gasps> it's your field. You got to call it. But they're also just right there. Yeah, dude. You don't be falling. God, it's, we got snow out here and you're in your jeans and your Crocs, son. Kansas. Kansas. It's weather here. <laughs> it might be summer weather here real soon. Um, Kansas weather is crazy. So we got an idea. Uh, we're going to walk down here about 50 yards away from the crows. We're gonna set out the collar and try to crawl and try to call them to us. Well, we're here. We got our spot picked out. Where's the collar at? It's right down there. Put it down there about 20 yards. Yeah. There's probably, I don't know, 40, 40 crows. A lot. There's a bunch. We're gonna flip it on, see if we can do some work here. If you guys are liking these videos, me and Jordan throwing it back on the whatever hunts, Smash the thumbs up button for us right now. You gotta let us know. If you guys want us to do more of these style of hunts, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you want us to do. This is fun. And it's a lot easier than goose hunting. Yeah. Hopefully they're just not scared off by us walking around it back here. Because they definitely saw us. Yeah. All I know is these crows, they circle for a minute and then they done. Then they're they're done, you know. So if they bind up or we get a shot on If we get a shot on a couple of them, I say we take it. Yeah. Well, we should have jump shot them. We should have jumped shot them. <laughs> uh, I need to look at the crow uh, laws a little better. Um, some birds, you know, you're allowed to shoot off the ground or while they're sitting in a tree. And then some birds, you're, you're not able to do that. So um, that's why I didn't want to. Because I'm not, I'm sure you probably can. But if I don't know, I'm not going to do it. You know what I mean? Probably can get you in trouble. Yeah. You think so? very very possible it's possible i mean there's been a lot of times where i'm really glad i double checked a law because i was completely wrong right and the last thing you want to do is be like i'm sure it's okay right give me my ticket that's the thing you just never know oh, right here they're high right there look at that kill the one i don't he's high let's see what happens like, oh, where look that at sound from? Oh, if we have any of them that get low at all. Yeah. Look at this, they're loving it. They're back. Uh oh. Come on, baby, get low. Look, hey, good Tells call. you how good we are at crow hunting. Good, <laughs> good scouting. Oh, here we go. Wow. Wow. This might get They're interesting. Just looking and looking and looking. This is cool. Oh, oh look at there's a low one. Oh, here he comes. Oh. Wonder if they're gonna keep getting lower, you think? I have no idea. I, I am either. not a crow hunting connoisseur. But that one is low. Look at this one. I know as soon as the first volley goes, it's over. Yeah, it's gonna be over when the when we shoot. But they're Oh man, he's so dead. He's the oh, he's the scout. He's the one that people talk about don't shoot the scout. Oh, I thought he was the idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he's about to get smoked. They're getting lower ish.
Now they might be getting higher. Yeah, I say if we can get one, we let's better get shoot one. it. Yeah. What's that one called? Crow in distress. Gotcha. Sounds yeah. like he's a little angry. Give him a little bit of mouth calling. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they definitely got higher after that. <laughs> <laughs> they they hate me. Low one. Ish. Ooh, he might get down, dude. He's crazy. You He's see him? Kamikaze right there. Oh, should we smoke him if he comes in front? Let's smoke him. He's up there, dude. They're all coming back. <laughs> You're like, darn I, I, it, Bobby. I, I, shoot one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at these. Oh, they come back. They come over low like that one yeah. more time, it's done. A bird is better than none. Yep. We played this game with them once, they're not going to commit. Not with no decoys. That one. Shoot him. Ah! We miss! He was high, but uh, we, we weren't had, getting anything good. We had to try. Dad gum it. Well, this is how crow hunting goes for me every time. Yeah. Every single time. That was really exciting for a little bit, though. Yeah. That's how it goes right there. You get one go. They won't, it's not like they're like ducks and geese where they ball up and they're, and they're focused on a decoy. Uh, they, they really react the same way when you have decoys out. Like I've never been able to have them ball up and just do it so you get more shots on more birds, blah, blah, blah. Crow hunting's hard, y'all. If y'all are crow hunters, I don't know. Give us some advice out here. Yep, we tried. Hey, what, I mean, we wouldn't have shot any if we wouldn't have tried. Right. It was worth a shot. I mean, them crows, there's a lot of them. That's that's the most crows I've ever had above me. That's for sure. Oh yeah. We've had like what, maybe 10 before, but yeah. that was like 30. That was a lot. That was. I've never had a lot of luck crow hunting. Never claimed to be a good crow hunter, to be honest. Well, like I said, we're gonna be doing a little bit of everything today. Y'all know that I have been learning from Jordan. He's a trapping king. Eh, that's a little bit generous, but <laughs> I do okay. You've been doing great. If you guys haven't subscribed to Jordan's channel, you need to. He's How many coyotes have you trapped already? Ten. Ten! And that was with having four traps out pretty much the whole time. Right. And you caught like, what, six of them on the same trap? Five. Five on the same trap, seven in the same, and there were seven within that 30 foot. Insane. So I'll link Jordan's channel down in the description below. Check out what he's got going on here. He got him a possum in a foothold trap. Old possum, we walked up and he was playing possum. Oh, hi guy. How are you? How are you? Old trap lord. Trap lord Jordan. He can he can catch about anything, I'm serious. You're you're a lot better at, at trapping possums and raccoons and coyotes <laughs> than crow hunting, bud. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> I am a possum magnet. <laughs> possum. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty good at that. So, well, I'm gonna go reset this. Well, he's just trying to let him go. He's still playing possum. Go on, bud. Go, oh, dude. He's still playing possum. Look at him. That's why That's why they say playing possum. Go, guy. Jeez. He's even got his tongue hanging out and stuff. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> that's really why they say play possum. Look, he's completely yeah. set free. He's not dead. He was he just, more active when I was holding him. Yeah, he was Put him actually, down, he's like, <gasps> I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> act dead again. Well, he's set free. Nope. If he gets up and walks off, I guess, cool, and he probably will once he don't hear us anymore. Yep. How can I help you? I'm not sure yet. Can I have just a minute, please? I'll take a number five with a large Dr. Pepper, son. All right, we'll take a number five with a large Dr. Pepper. Son. Son? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I didn't think you'd do it. I'll do it. Um, and well, we're here at the old dairy farm. It's been a while since we've been here, y'all. The calves, little babies. He was born 11-29-19. How's it going, bud? Oh, 
Oh, look at you. What's your date? 12 9 19. You're not old at all. Little itty bitty babies. Little cute yeah, suckers, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're moving. Uh, I've been kind of hitting around you guys. We're, we're bought a new house. We're buying a new house. We're moving. We're going to have some have some land. Hey, don't eat my shorts, man. Come on, those are expensive. But we're going to be moving. Uh, if you guys think I ought to get a cow or maybe a couple horses, let me know. I want to. Horses? Oh, oh we're going to have horses because Beth wants them bad. She's a horse gal. Oh, she grew up with a horse. I've never been a big horse guy until now because she wants one. And the reason is I never was a big horse guy because when I was about, I think, seven, me and my mom were on a horse and it took out, oh. took off. Just, I mean, we went probably five, six miles full bore until she got <laughs> worn out. And eventually mom chucked me off pretty much. You oh, know what I mean? That's nice. Yeah, bad deal. Little kitties everywhere. Hi, kitty cats. Well, <clears throat> here's the old magic shed. Oh, oh. look. Then they, uh, I was too loud. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, we better shoot something. Might be a pigeon busting out of here. Y'all know the drill. <laughs> Let's push him. Want to push him? Oh, oh, oh. Didn't shoulder. Hold right. on. You get closer. I'll stay out here. Sparrow, Sparrow yeah. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Look at the cloud of feathers, dude! That was nice. Nice. Oh, did you did you fire? Did shoot. That was that a retay. That was 100 percent just. Wow! Oh, look, pigeons right here. Wow! That was an impressive cloud right there. Wow! Pillowcase that thing. That was not high bird either. Oh. That was just a regular federal lead shell. Yep. Good loudy. Well, maybe I'll start using this girl more often. Wow. That was yummy. I don't know if I got that on the shot cam or not. <sighs> if you guys are glad we're back at the dairy, drop a big old thumbs up for not only myself, but for old Jordan too. Jordan started his channel back in July when we were doing this stuff, pigeon hunting, hunting on the dairy. And he is over 10,000 subscribers already should hit 11,000 a day oh really yeah, i'm excited it's exciting I'm man super exciting. it's a dream come true for jordan it's a dream come true for me to help him you know it's an achievement man it's crazy well here it is now it's a frozen trail of poop well i mean it, it, it's you know what creek and we're going up without a paddle so. <laughs> Uh, a lot of you guys know back on the old dairy videos a lot of you miss them i miss them too i'm glad i'm here ah, ah, i just gotta love the dairy it's it smells like cans yeah smells like money right oh yeah well you know the drill guy's got a cowboy out here cowboy's the name of the game on the dairy hi girls oh i'm sorry i'm sorry look at them they're like oh you guys are back yes we're back Now, a lot of you guys, if you're new to the channel, for one thing, do not think we're harming these animals. Look at this starling right here on the ground. Look, here's a starling right in the food. See him? Right there. They're right away. So what happens is uh, these starlings populate here at the dairy farm, and this is why the cow's food. In that food right there, there's a lot of good stuff for the cows. And again, it's for the cows, not the starlings. So what the starlings do, they get in there and they poop. And then they pick out all the good chocolate, all the good sugar out of this. But they poop in there and it's nasty. It's not good. It's basically, it's not healthy for these cattle. They're trying to produce good quality milk. So we get out here, we do some cowboying. We try to take care of them. We try to drive them out of here to protect the cow's food. Here's the pigeon I smashed though. Look at that. He's a pretty guy. Real pretty bird, huh? Good looking bird though. Good looking bird, white tips. That's a good looking dairy pigeon right there. He got a little messed up though. Well, back home. And old Frederick here, old Stretchin' McGee himself, he wasn't able to go with us on this hunt today. 
for one main reason. We knew we were gonna be hunting the dairy and the dairy farm has those two big poop lagoons. Basically, they are the poop ponds of the place. All the nasty feces and everything goes to them. Last time, I took old Frederick, he almost got in there. And if he would get in there, he would be super sick. And if he was in there long enough, he could possibly kill him, you know? So for his safety, I didn't want to take him today. But I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Me and Jordan just wanted to get out, have some fun, low pressure, low workload. We originally wanted to do a two-man goose hunt. That would have meant sitting out 40, 50 dozen decoys and laying on our backs on the cold frozen ground. Nah, nah. We were like, nah, you guys have been requesting it long enough. Let's go to the dairy farm. So if you guys want to see more dairy farm videos, if you want to see more trapping with Jordan, I'm trying to learn trapping more myself from Jordan. Let me know down in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys, every one of you, told me what you guys want to see. But remember, subscribe to Jordan's channel. I will link it down in the description below. He's doing amazing things over on his channel. I'm so proud of him. And if you want to help support the channel, there's a couple things you can do. A, you can subscribe. B, you can hit that little notification bell down there. And C, if you really want to help me out, you can head on over to duckswaterfowl.com and pick you up something nice. Just like the thermal sweats, they're nice, they're comfy, they're warm. We have all types of yummy duck hunting gear over there. But thank you all for being here. This 2019 has been amazing. Without y'all, I couldn't be doing this. I appreciate you guys so, so much. To put it into words is pretty much impossible, to be honest. I hope that you get after 500, I think we're over 500 videos now. I hope that after 500 videos, y'all would know me enough to know how genuine I am when I say thank you. Thank you to you guys. Thank you so much. But until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.